Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 999 Gaming. I want to do a video called Dear Scopely, You Fail. And this is going to be an open letter to the developers of The Walking Dead Road to Survival. And while I go through and read my top five issues that I have so far with gameplay and the development, I'm also going to leave a video that we put up, a beta update fail, and just read through some of the comments from some of the other players as well too at your own leisure. So to start out, over the last few months, many issues have been discussed by your loyal players. Unfortunately, you've addressed almost none of them. This video will serve as an additional reminder of the topics that we want answers for. So number one on my list, what are the odds for five-star characters? I've asked this question several times. Scopely has been quiet on the topic. They want to address it in the forums. They want to address it on their website. They want to address it in videos. And this is something as a, as a loyal game player, I want to know. I want to know where I spend my money and I just want publicized what the odds are. If not, you will continue to get refund requests over and over and over again. And it must be costing you guys a fortune for those refunds. If you were just open and honest with players, then I think that you'd have a leg to stand on here. So why not just disclose to the players what the odds are? Are, are you afraid that they are so low that people are going to be turned off by it? I think a little bit of honesty here would go a long way with your game players. Have one of your moderators maybe address it in one of your forums. But so far, you've been extremely quiet on this topic. So number two, the Supply Depot needs answers. The Supply Depot is, is becoming a joke. At, initially, it was a great concept. It's rolled out in beta. It's been tested in beta. Then it rolled over into some of the regular realms. Um, the iOS players were pissed off because they didn't get it. And now there's rumors that Supply Depot may not even make it at all. Um, if it doesn't, it's going to be a travesty. And it's going to be just an, an extreme... Um, it's going to appear as a stream backstabbing effort to the players that, that have worked so hard and, and farmed. They're free-to-play players that have really worked hard in order to gain items. I am not a strong advocate of the way the Supply Depot was rolled out. I'll be the first to say it. But it did have a lot of positive following and a lot of players. I wanted it modified. But to talk about removing it all together, and I don't know if this has come directly from Scopely or this is just a rumor, but I would like to see Scopely take a position on it and address that with their players. And you know what? You can do it on your website. You can do it on one of my videos. If you want to comment and send a representative, definitely answer some of these questions. Because if not, it, they're going to continue to gain momentum and people are going to get more frustrated by your lack of response. So number three, why do you continually bombard us with ads in the game, but continue to regurgitate the same boring roadmap missions? So this is the third time that we've got to see Glenn's Hunt, but yet every day we get to see a Black Friday bag, a Thanksgiving bag, a Veterans Day bag, poor taste, um, different characters, a new Rick, a new Shane, a new um, Derek, a new Rocky. You know, Check out our new exclusive characters. Check out this new buffed up AR. So your marketing people are so busy trying to shove these characters down everybody's throat, and yet we don't have time to develop new roadmap missions. And, and it's been a while. So, read through some of the comments here on Leisure. Number four on my list. Why are all the epic characters male? I think I've seen a five-star Michonne, and other than that, it's been Derek and Rocky and Glenn and several Glens and several Ricks and Carl. And But it's 2015, man. How about a little bit of diversity? Where are the five-star Rositas and Lori's and Amy's and Sandy's and Olivia's and and you know, I've seen Michonne, but other than Michonne, I don't think I've seen a female make the front page of your epic characters. So a little bit of diversity and a little bit of inclusion may go a long way with your game players. And number five on my list is, um, why is there a limit to the amount of characters that you can hold? At level 25, I can hold 55 characters. This is absolutely stupid. It's the most idiotic thing that I've ever seen in a game. So if I were to buy a pack of 36 characters and I already have 55, what am I going to do with those 36 characters? I can't keep them. I can keep them, but then I can't add any more characters. So you get a temporary like buff, so you can go like 90 of 55, but then if you get any characters in missions or if you make characters for Adrenaline Rush, you can't take on those new characters until you delete your other ones. So it makes no sense why you just can't let people hold 200, 300, 400 characters. I'm sure your servers can hold the... Uh, the capacity for a few additional characters. Um, unbelievably dumb. This is probably one of, the, one of the biggest complaints I have in the game. It's almost as bad as when you rolled out the radio missions and you do not have the radio missions cost more world energy than you could actually hold at lower levels. Absolutely idiotic that you, you, know, you gave away a free radio and then forced people to buy world energy in order to complete the radio mission. So you couple that with the fact that 
the adrenaline rush has had issues. Um, it's very inconsistent. Uh, you know, I've, I've people I've adrenaline rushed 50 times that it never went up and I have some people, I've, people I've adrenaline rushed five times and they're fully maxed. So, uh, you know, definitely. And, and I, I know Scopely actually came out and said there was an issue with that and be fixed in the next patch, but very, uh, little transparency into the game. You can read through some of the other comments that other players have mentioned. Uh, you can see red universe talks about how much money they've spent and some of the issues. Several people on this, um, talk about. Um, they're going to delete the game. They're going to stop playing the game. And I've commented to someone personally on, in fact, on behalf of Scopely, I've probably been a ambassador of the game and said, don't quit the game. There's flaws with every game, continue playing it and sort of work through it. But it's just a matter of time before people start to spend their money and their time elsewhere. So thank you everyone for listening. Um, this is a pretty open letter. So hopefully you guys give this video a thumbs up and leave well thought out comments and roll this up to the people at Scopely so they can listen to it. They can hopefully respond to their players, keep their players around, keep their players engaged, build more of a network, and then we can stop doing these Scopely fail videos and actually talk about how this developer really wants to work with their players. But at this point, I've not seen anything positive. Um, you know, here's, here's another thing. If you really want to impress your players, do a five-star mission. Make it as hard as you want. Let people spend gold if they want to spend gold. You know, make it a S++ team if you want, but allow the players to complete a roadmap mission to get a five-star character. And if you do it and have them spend gold, you'll probably actually make money off the whole ordeal because I'm sure people would want to work for that and pay for that. And, and I'm not, we're not asking for you to give anything away in this game for free. People do want to earn it, but you also need to raise the stakes a little bit too because if you make it that carrot that no one can ever attain, then eventually people are going to stop trying to get it. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. My name is Killshot. I uh, appreciate all the views, all the comments, all the intelligent conversation. I know a lot of you guys post on the forum, but let's roll these thoughts up to Scopely, and hopefully this video will be the beginning um, of a developer who's going to listen to your ideas and make changes to satisfy the players. We need to remind Scopely that without players, there is no money, and without money, there is no game. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Peace.